Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I was making a tutorial about how to make the pectoral fins and the uh, uh, gill plates for this glide bait. Uh, then I thought maybe I should just do the entire design series so you guys can follow along. So I'm going to break this up into chapters. In each chapter I will focus on one thing and I will go through my thought process and the tools that I'm using. So please follow along if you are interested and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so when I publish a new chapter you will get the notification. Okay so without further ado let's get started. In this design series our target fish is gonna be a trout and I have found a good reference picture from the internet so let's insert it. Go to the top menu here select canvas and select the picture say open and you need to select the face you want to put the canvas on so select one here and just ignore the dimension here because we want to calibrate the size of the trout to the desired size not the size of the image so say OK here and make it bigger here and right click the canvas picture select calibrate and then you select two points and enter the desired size I'm going to make it a six inch glide bait which is about 15 centimeters so right here and now this is the reference trout we are going to work with. Next is the main body itself and we are going to use pipe form to do that. So go to form and then create. Actually let's do the center line first. So let's create a sketch. Uh, select this plan and we will use a straight line because this is going to be a pipe form so we need to leave some space between the end of the line and the tip of the form. So let's do it here. Leave some space. Don't go all the way. And same thing for the tail. Click check mark and finish sketch. And now go to pipe form. Pipe. And select this line. And you see what I mean by leaving some space. Um, so 15 is good. We don't want to make it too big or too small. Average radius is good. Select the end type to be square and select the display mode to be this smooth display. And you see we have many sections here and actually we don't want that many. Basically we want to have one segment whenever there's a curvature change. So like this one. So let's count. One and I want to make this belly bump so that's kind of reverse curvature so let's count it one two three four and then head is five so at least five so we don't want to make it too many we just need to capture enough so this is three so make it more this is one two three four that's five that's good so say okay here and we also need to make it symmetrical select mirror symmetry and select face so one this side and one this side say ok now let's start doing the sculpting so basically we want to move the face or the points edge to the desired location so say modify and let's start from back just move it to match the reference picture Sometimes it feels a little bit tedious, but it's also fun to match whatever you are trying to do to see how it starts to take shape. Okay, we can do this all day, but uh, I just want to show you how it's done. Now let's do the top view, and before we do that, 
uh, let's insert a uh, top view canvas so say okay here can I insert right here yes let's try that so from computer this guy open need to select the face and say okay I need to oh I need a and so okay then I will do calibrate okay and calibrate okay so we have top view canvas inside view okay top now start sculpt the top view pointy so it's gonna be like this and we will do the gill plate later let's get the rough shape for now so that's pretty much it um, say okay here finish form I think this is like more linear uh, taper down so let's go back to the form again and because this this is bulging too much so let's make it taper down more okay so this is what we have today the body is taking shape now and uh, we'll do the rest of the uh, trout design in the next videos so please subscribe if you have not turn on your notification bell so you will get the new video drop i will see you next time happy modeling